tonight. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the San Francisco 49ers and the New England Patriots. There's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air, and we are underway in Foxborough. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. To speak of, call it a one yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. Nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Purdy with it on third and long. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 7-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, yeah, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now a man open down the middle of the field. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. 
Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Purdy so complete here to Ayuk. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. To throw again on second down. Purdy, a battle for it, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Pats force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Throwing Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Oh, no, 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 no,
Bengals have to have that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Yeah. Now he's going to be very close to a first down. Yeah. Good yeah. running. Yeah. 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 Looks like he's a yard yeah. short. Yeah. It's a gain of five. And now the question yeah. will yeah. be if it's out there on fourth and four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
gets a bit tougher from here. Hurdles is pulled in by Kittle. They'll give him 40 yards there. They're going to face his little man here on the third law. Tall task is given here. He's going to go 15 yards to move the chain. Yeah, 
defense and back on the field and get close to the third down. Play action, Jones. Now, here's another first and ten. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. run right there. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Here, Purdy. Buying time to his left. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he is going to lose yardage here. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Back to throw, Purdy. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Just like in golf, never counted in the cup until it rolls in there. Otherwise, you can really get messed up with your scores. In this case, you know they thought, hey, at least three, maybe even a chance to get six. It's a little bit demoralizing going off the field now that you've turned it over and you come up empty. Yeah, if he holds on to that, at least the field goal on fourth down, now they lose it. Jones in the Pats now with a first and ten at the 33-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, Jones, and caught by Henry, and they're going to get this up the midfield. This is not what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, 
If they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and get a fire under these guys, they've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another big play here as they strike for 31. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw. Jones. That's to Aguilar. Touchdown, Patriots. Nelson Aguilar from 19 yards away. And the Patriots are able to widen their lead here in this first half. And a man, Charles, talking about singing something in there. And those gloves, they help with one-handed catches, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this. After that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Full connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was capped by the touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy, that's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Purdy. Flushed out right. That's caught by Jennings. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Here's Purdy. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers get a bit closer. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is down to 24. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. This will be fielded inside the five. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. Meanwhile, Jones throw there complete to Allen. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Straight ahead at Stevenson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run once more with Stevenson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And they got this down to about the 12-yard line. On the handoff, Stevenson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And a fair catch taken here at the five-yard line. Oh, huh, interesting. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Looking to throw. Jones to the right side. It's Kelsey. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That is his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Off the play fake. Jones. With no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. But I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Back to Stevenson on first down. And some space here. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 180 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Jones on first down. 
Chandler, he's got it. Out on the left side. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 46. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Play action, now Purdy. And this is going to be caught, but they'll stay out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. On second down, here's the option. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Purdy looking to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning threw 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Off play action. Jones looking downfield for Kelsey. And this one taken in on the right side. But not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And this defense will take over right at midfield. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Patriots take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Well, kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Here's Jones to throw on third down. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he gets this up past the 30. Took a heck of a chance there, didn't he? Result-based business, we know that. That result was positive for him, but oh my it goodness, how close was that to being negative? Well, because you're essentially in the shadow of your own ends. And the Niners get there and bring him down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, it gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way and able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done and for a nice chunk of yardage, too. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. This is Stevenson. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 22 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They go play action here on first down. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. So that challenge, a successful one. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. And no, doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. 
Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Now it's Stevenson. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Off the play fake, Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well incomplete on third and short to give to the tight end and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35 give him the third down conversion five yards on the play this is beginning to border on dominance another strong run that picks up a first down you've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering do i even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game one quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a run with Stevenson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. <laughs> Off play action. Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And even 150 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from blocking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Off the play fake, Jones. There's Henry to make a nice catch. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Off play action, Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The front. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in for two yards. Out. And the Patriots have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but with self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to sit in that home room and win every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fifth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Again, it's pretty to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice gain. On third down, it's Purdy. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. On first down, Purdy. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. Able to spin free. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Second and four. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. He's got the hook up to McLeod. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 15-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now Purdy. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 40. The 20. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. You know, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Parker hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this group of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Purdy now to throw. Got an open man. It's McLeod. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. And his throw is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Purdy sets up to throw again. This one caught by Kittle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. This pass to Jennings and he makes a catch. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Second down and three. Purdy from the gun. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 27. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll look to throw again. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass. Use his blockers well and pick up the first down. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means it puts it on the carpet, it's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And a nice pickup as this one gets them to the 10-yard line. 158 yards on the ground for him so far. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him. And a fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Looks like he'll throw here. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Without much defensive resistance on that drive, and really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. On for the extra point is Folk. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, 
They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. There's Purdy on first and 10. Over the middle, complete. That's Jennings. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Purdy with one final shot here. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.